What is going on YouTube? In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a time lapse, or I'm gonna show you a time lapse of the disassembly and cleaning process and then reassembly of the cylinder heads on my Jeep SRT 392. But before we get into the time lapse, if I could just ask you to smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm, hit the subscribe button with the bell notifications, and then mark all notifications. That would really help me out, especially since I'm getting back into all this stuff. So, so I'm gonna quit being boring and let's get into this time lapse. Be sure to stay tuned till after the time lapse so I can explain to you guys why I'm doing what I'm doing and exactly what I'm, yeah, something like that. Anyways, I'm gonna leave little captions on the video so that you know exactly what I'm doing to these cylinder heads while I'm doing it. Check it out. I hope you enjoyed that time lapse. Just remember that everything that I did in that video, you have to do twice because there's two cylinder heads. Uh, I didn't find anything out of the ordinary besides the valve stem seals, which are those little round seals that I pried out of there with a um, pair of pliers. You could definitely tell that the rubber was getting old and brittle, so we went ahead and replaced those. Then I went ahead and reinstalled the valves back in the same position that they were already in. The new valve spring seat shims, the new valve spring seats, valve springs, retainers, and then reinstalled the valve spring retainer clips at the top that hold it onto the valve itself. Now the reason why I didn't send these cylinder heads out to a machine shop is because in part of that time lapse you'll notice that I used what's called a straight edge and you're checking to make sure that there's no warpage in the cylinder head itself. So I do one of these and then one of these and then one of these and these. Anyways, what that does is that checks for cylinder warpage and to see how straight and true the cylinder head itself is. Now the head gasket will definitely help seal, seal all of that up. I didn't think it was necessary to send the cylinder heads out. One of the reasons being is I'm contemplating whether or not I, I want to replace them with a Summit or JEGS high performance, high flow cylinder head option. It actually winds up being cheaper to just replace the cylinder heads with a high flow cylinder head. With all that said, you guys have seen the disassembly, cleaning, reassembly of the cylinder heads on the 392. I hope you enjoyed it. Like always, be sure to smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, hit the bell notification, and I've got another video actually. 
there's the camshaft. There is a spot on this camshaft that is worn, and the next video I'll be going over why it does what it does, what fails, and uh... Until the next video, you guys stay safe, I'm out. Peace.